Hey everybody, it's Alan at Golf Plus. I'm actually at my house right now and I just got in all this new gear. Um, I've got a little bit of it here on the, oh, you know what, you can't really see it. I've got a little bit of it on the, on the table right there. I've got more of it in the kitchen and I'm gonna go get it. And I'm gonna set up my podcast gear and kind of figure out how to work it. So you're gonna get to see me try to figure this stuff out. I mean, some of it I've worked with before in the past, video and audio stuff. I mean, I've done radio, TV. Uh, I've done all kinds of stuff over the last uh, you know 30 plus years. But uh, this will be kind of new and I'm excited to get this rolling. We've even uh, just secured a space to host the podcast. And so we're gonna build a, a studio for that. Um, so, but anyway, but this is, I've got a little bit of time off from work over the next day or two with it being the holidays. So I'm gonna set it up. So follow along with my uh, video diary of that. All right, so let's go over the gear that I purchased that we're gonna need to be able to do the podcast. So um, one thing that we've got is a classic lavalier mic. This is the kind, kind of like this, but a lot smaller, runs to a battery pack, easy for me to say. Um, this is going to be for like live segments or for some of our YouTube content, but you know, it's possible that I might wear one during an interview or something, especially if we have multiple guests and we don't have enough microphones. So this will be for like some of our portable stuff. Um, and then these are the mics that I bought for the main podcast. These are Shure SM7DB. Um, I really went a little bit overboard and bought the best mics that I could afford um, because, you know, I was in the audio world for a long time, toured as a musician, and uh, I can tell you that the mic makes a big difference in terms of how much better the sound quality is. So you've seen these on a lot of professional podcasts and stuff and I have two of them. And also the space that I've secured for our podcasting has um, other mics as well because they have other studios, radio studio stuff in there. So they've told me that because I'm gonna be in their building, I can use some of their gear as well. So we might even be able to host as many as like four to six people if we absolutely had to. But I feel like most of the time we're gonna be just like two or three people. So anyway, got a couple of these Shure mics. And then you got to put the mic on something. So we've got some nice desk stands here. Uh, this will attach there. The desk stand will allow us, I've got two of these, to put it up on a table or a desk or whatever. Um, and anyway, that's what that'll be for. And then I've also got some full-size boom stands as well from back in my days, again, from being on the road, touring, doing all that, playing music, even just like when we were doing restaurants, clubs, all that. Uh, the most important piece of equipment I've got is this Mackie DLZ Creator. This is the audio mixing console um, that allows you to mix the audio, record all the audio mixes, and then go back later and put it all into the computer um, and the software that then turns it into a podcast. And so that's the audio portion of it. But obviously podcasts, you've got to have a video portion. So let me see if I can find my mics. Hang on just a second. Okay, on the last segment, I said I was gonna get my mics, but I just messed that up. What I meant was my cameras. So Zoom makes these really cool 4K cameras. They're really small. We can just set them on a tabletop. We can mount them onto a mic stand. We can mount them onto a boom, whatever we want. So these are running uh, up to 4K. Um, great cameras. They're really small though, and they even have built-in microphones. So we can use these outside if we're shooting golf course content eventually. Um, obviously I have this little guy and I have the lav I showed you earlier, but these, if I'm close enough, these would pick up everything, ambient sound, you know, whatever. And they're really cool. So we got those. And then of course, if we're talking on microphones, we got to be able to hear ourselves. So we've got a couple of sets of Rode headphones here. I have been told by my rep at Sweetwater. Uh, Sweetwater is where I buy all of my gear because they're so helpful. They'll get on the phone with you, talk to you, really help you the same way we like to help people in our stores. Um, but nobody really carries gear like this locally. So it's kind of hard to find it. But anyway, so we've got a couple of sets of Rode, nice headphones there. Um, a couple extra cables to go with that as well. And then I also have my in-ear monitors back from, again, when I was doing music and stuff. So I can also do that if I don't want to do headphones or if we have to share enough. I have my in-ears 
that just bloop, bloop like that. So anyway, all right, so we've got stands, we've got mics, we've got the board. Obviously, we've got a couple of um, tripods for cameras. And, and then, of course, we've got cables, got to have mic cables, SD cards. I had to buy all kinds of stuff. But it's going to be worth it because we're going to produce great content for you guys. We're going to have lots of fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. We'll be unveiling the name, the logo, all that stuff soon. And uh, we'll even probably post like some preview clips of, of how we're working on it and how we're building it. So anyway, stay tuned. All right, so one of the cool things about these headphones, you'll notice, is they're not wireless. They actually come with their own wire, but that's kind of the mark of a more professional piece of gear, especially when it comes to high-end audio or better products, is things like a uh, detachable cable like this. A lot of reasons for that. One is if the cable ever goes out, you can just replace it. The other thing is if you get snagged on something and it pulls, it does it, you know, it'll actually just pull out, and that way you don't end up hurting yourself. So nice to have. These also, you can choose which side uh, to plug it in. So anyway, really cool, just extra feature. Again, buying a nicer piece of gear, you get those advantages. All right, so let's dive into the box and see what we have here. Comes with a nice ins and outs uh, chart of what each of the little buttons is. I'm definitely gonna have to refer back to that a couple of times. And then it's got one of these books that says, read me. And for the first time in my life, I will definitely do that. I will definitely read because I don't know what I'm doing. This is a whole new thing to me. And so obviously excited, but you know, wanna get started right, don't wanna just randomly do it. I do know what this is, that's power plug. I'm not that dumb. I can figure that out. So let's get it powered up and we'll see what this looks like. All right. Well, we got the basic setup going. I'm learning how I'm going through their menus and everything and learning how to get the mic sounds that I want. It even has a special function where it identifies some of the most popular mics out there and sets the mic levels according to that and gets all the effects and everything. And, and sure enough, this mic that I chose because it's so popular, it's, it's in there. So that worked out really well. So anyway, I'm learning how to use this. I'm excited about it and I'm excited about what we're going to be bringing to you in the way of content down the road. So stay tuned for more from Golf Plus. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.